Alright, so here's uh, part three of the vegan bar soap videos. Okay, so this one, this one, this bar soap doesn't last as long compared to the uh, one in the kitchen. Um, seems like it only lasts like maybe three or four days, this one here. Because I wash my hands a lot. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, when the bar gets kind of small-ish, um, it, it gets all mushy if I use it frequently throughout, like, if, especially on the, on, on my, uh, days off on the weekend, if I'm washing my hands more often, it gets soggy quicker, but when it gets small, it just starts to fall apart. That's nothing against this brand. Uh, I'm sure that happens with other bar soaps. When it gets small, it just starts to fall apart because it's wet and it just it falls apart. So uh, it gets annoying when it gets to that point. So I, I don't like being wasteful, but I, um, I throw it away when it gets to that point. Um, so uh, an, what, one kind of annoying thing with bar soap is... Um, Sometimes uh, food gets stuck in it, um, so it's it's a good idea to. I've noticed it's a good good idea to sometimes rinse my hands before uh, touching the bar soap because otherwise crumbs and other food food things will get stuck to the uh, the bar soap. So that's gross, uh, and sometimes hair will get. Uh, stuck in it in the bar soap too that's gross too uh i, I guess i've noticed uh, after shaving sometimes that's when hair might get in it sometimes hair just floats in the air and you just find hair on things and you're just wondering well, where why why is there hair on this like why is there hair on my bar soap so then i just gotta rinse off the bar of soap um Yeah, I guess that's it for over here for this part of the video. This this video part. This is this part is done.